friends welcome to another video um, if you're new to my channel I'm glad you're here my name is Marlene and I am uniquely Ella everywhere Instagram Facebook everywhere and um, quick little announcement I want to thank everyone I reached well I'm over my 2,000 subscribers so that's like wow I couldn't believe it I'm going to be doing a giveaway but I think I'm gonna do it at the beginning of the year because it's kind of crazy now so today I have another flip and this one is for a long skinny kind of like traditional but not too traditional um, journal that I just finished the digital the inspiration for the cover and really the inspiration of what led guided me through the colors of this journal was a uh, printables from Ida Jane design but I've got printables from lots of people the paper cameo chapter one raindrop Lila Ruby and Pearl Anna's Wonderland and Taylor made journals I'm gonna list everyone underneath and again I'm gonna list all my social media and everything underneath if you like my videos you like my content please subscribe if you're not a subscriber give me a thumbs up all those good things share because Facebook loves that a lot I mean um, YouTube loves likes that a lot so let's get started with this pretty lady I'm so excited and I use some trims of course from um, Sheila over at Boho Daydreams I am running low on her trims and it's time to order again and that's kind of what I wanted for my birthday but then we went away and you know it didn't work out so I'm saving up again so we'll see so this is this is the trim from Boho Daydream. This I think it's a tablecloth that I've had for the longest time that I love. And look at this beautiful digital. Isn't that gorgeous? So it's very angelic. I mean it's just absolutely beautiful and I love the white. I love the way their gowns kind of the folds on their gowns. I think that's so pretty. So what I did is that I went ahead and I veiled the entire cover. It's one of those skinny journals that, guys, to be honest, I'm like in love with making these journals, like a lot. So I had this trim. This trim, this was gifted to me. I think this, I hate to say the wrong name, but it was gifted to me not too long ago. Oh, I also have a lot of laces here from Nettie. She's my friend. I'm going to list her shop. I think she sells, she has an Etsy shop and I've got a lot of her laces in here. I don't, cannot tell you exactly which ones now because I have a lot of my laces mixed in there, but I'm going to link Nettie's shop underneath also. But I do know this piece right here is mine. And then I just, you know, veiled the whole thing. Uh, it's one signature. It's very, very chunky. And I did this a little bit different from my other journals just a little touch you know we all have like our style you know and we love it so we don't deviate from it too much and that's the bag and you can still see the little because I love this little netting it's so pretty it's like oh it's got these little specks of gold so you're gonna see a lot of gold and silver throughout pepper throughout the journal and then here we have this little trim this is just all this is the cover and then I have a chandelier crystal, but I don't think it's crystal. I think it's like acrylic. And I'm kind of glad. I had to search because I knew I had some that weren't. This looks really, this is a high quality acrylic because it doesn't look or feel, but I don't think it, it's not crystal. Which is good for shipping because I'm always afraid when I put crystals. Even these I'm always afraid, but I pack my stuff really well. So, so like I said, it's one signature. It ties up here and then I reinforced uh, really well the backing because she got uh, out of hand and so what I did with this one was that I went ahead and I put a lot of inserts so that you can take them out and then you can also use them in other journals or you can do whatever you like but I would say half of the chunkiness here are inserts that could be removed okay so let's get started I just have a simple binding that goes around twice and I love this material so much I don't know where I got this from but it frays really nice and it gets all tattery like and I kind of like that look you know that we all like that look so I try to use it as often as I can so let's get started you know how I usually don't like to do pockets and things in the front but on this one I did see how chunky she is just super duper chunky 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 let me just hold her up so you can see her chunkinessness is that a word see she's 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 a big mama so 
for, see if, she, if she's not closed she's got that alligator mouth I kind of like that sometimes so for the inside I'm not going to mention what every single digital is from whom because to be honest I don't remember but I do know this is Ida Jane I remember that so I usually like to leave my covers plain <clears throat> but this time I used just a simple lace I thought that it had a lot of white and things going on and it was just like another layer for some reason I wanted to do plus it was a long space so I created this little tuck here and then in this tuck I have um, I found this book that I've had for a while it's an old book I have a little that you can cut or scan or use for whatever you want and this is a, I think this is the French yeah, this is from a French book. Um, so that's the little pocket. Of course, you can add other things in here if you like. And I like how the layers look here. I've got, you know, a lot of things going on. I have a little bit of red. This uh, journal has a lot of the mint. Like kind of, like I'm calling it like shabby mint green because it's kind of like, I don't know. It looks a little bit grunge to me. I'm not a big grunge girl, but it looks a little bit grunged. But it's soft, kind of like shabby grunged. <laughs> excuse me so I like the layers here so I chose this trim because of this little design here in the wallpaper I thought that would, would go well and then this is like that wallpaper I love to use in my layers that I tea dyed and coffee dyed and I got just like oh my god it feels so good um, and like you know all of my journals I leave plenty of room for you to be able to use them and write wherever you like I know this is Ida Jane. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty. And let me go quickly because you know it's got all of the layers that I like. I think this is a French book. This um, might be Ruby and Pearl. Like I said, I don't want to mention exactly who's who because I will probably be wrong and I'm going to get in trouble for it. But look how beautiful this is. Oh, I love that image. That's so pretty. And I kind of searched through, this says the Christian home, I kind of searched through my uh, books to find Christmas or, you know, anything that mentioned Christ, the reason for Christmas. Okay, so here I made an envelope out of um, one of the digitals. I love it. I love this little bird and that's why I, choose, I chose this one for the envelope. Very simple. I folded it and then I sewed on the side and that's it that's my envelope and then this little um, Baker's twine I think is so cute I got it not too long ago I think and I hide it from my kitty because he loves it and he'll go at it I think I got it I think I, I want to say Hobby Lobby not too long ago and I just been dying to use it I think it's so pretty so I got to use it here and then I made like a little cluster thingy with a lot of little different laces and things just kind of hanging from there and then this is a little tag that I don't remember this is from my scrapbooking days but it, I like that it had that little gold trim around it so I went ahead and I added a little piece of lace underneath and then this little tiny bling thing from one of um, Sheila's trim that I cut it out so it opens up like this which I'm gonna have to put it all back again this is great this baby's getting ready to ship I cannot tell you guys how grateful I am that you like my you know you like my work look how pretty this is even just to hang by itself doesn't you can do whatever you want but all I did is folded it sewed it on the side I think this might be chapter one back here I think I'm not sure so here I tucked more goodies. What did I tuck in here? Let me just kind of show you because I like you to see what I tucked in. Uh, this, I think this is German. No, I don't know. And I tucked this in. Look how pretty that is. And it's got a little bit of pink. I make sure to add a little bit of pink here and there, which I have some more pink in there from Anna's Wonderland. Uh, her latest digital, I believe. It's kind of like a neutral pink, so it goes with everything. So I did add a little bit of that in here because I wanted to bring out some of the pink. This is uh, just regular seam binding. And I, you know how the seam binding is all like different pieces of seam binding sewed together? 
and I always try to get a little piece that has the little piece that's sewn together because it looks kind of scrappy like and I like that this is from Sheila I have little bits of bling here and there uh, so let's get going lots of pages here I just did a little collage and then here I did one of those bakery bags it feels so good I did a little collage and I folded it over and then here I had this really tr pretty trim that I've had it out for a while because I wanted to use it and this is from an online store on Etsy I gotta find it I hope I can find it but it's like it has the prettiest little bits of gold and then this little bit is from a trim that's how I'm low I am on Sheila's trim that I'm cutting and saving every tiny little bit that I can so I like how this envelope turned out I just kind of did a little bit of a collage so in this one what do I have in here because I have different things in different ones and I don't remember look how pretty I think this look how pretty this one is because it brings some of the green like I said I'm going to list all the stores underneath all the digital designers and then you just kind of got to go through the store and kind of look around because I don't I don't list by individual kits. I just list the store and then you just got to go there and search. I know this is from, look how gorgeous this is. This is from Raindrop Lila. This is from Lydia. And look how beautiful this image is. Isn't that like, doesn't that look like it was made for this cover? You see how different, you, know, you can grab little things here and there from different artists and make your own. Look how pretty, he, look at the layering she did here, I love that. I love Lydia's um, digital so much. And I always find that she just has a new one out on Bible verses. Oh, that is so good. She gifted to me a while back, I think it was one of her first Bible verses that I love. But she has a new one out. And to be honest, I haven't looked at every single one of them, but I did look that it's out so I gotta go look you know how it is uh, this is I forgot but I'll list it underneath look how beautiful this is from Ida Jane the main the inspirational kit and there are a few little differences in the journals that I would have to point out there's mainly two that I know for a fact this piece right here this focal piece up here is different I, I always make two I cannot I at the beginning I started doing like four like I did little journal series and I would do series of four but I know my limitations and I can't I can't it's not enjoyable to me to do four it's kind of like too repetitive because it's four and I try to do them the same so after a little while I'm like no this is not working out I don't feel as creative so I can do two two I can handle and that's it so I'm gonna, you know, there's gonna be a lot of changes to my work coming up and a lot of changes to my, hopefully my YouTube channel too. Because as you know, I already announced that I will be doing um, digitals. I have a store that I have not, I have things I need to load up to my digital store. My digital store is open already. It's gonna be an Etsy store also, but it's a separate store from my regular store that I've had for 11, 12 years. And in this, um, new store is going to just be digitals and then one of my lovely ladies i'm not going to mention who but one of my beautiful ladies i haven't listed my store yet but for somehow some reason she found my store and it brought tears to my eyes she made she purchased something from me and now this is a very talented lady she's got her own store with her own gorgeous digitals and she purchased from me I was like what an honor I couldn't believe it she was my very first customer so you know that's always going to be in my heart because I've been thinking about doing digitals forever it's like a long story you know you're very, very insecure and so forth so the fact that this lady got a digital from me it was like what and I don't know how she found my store because I haven't listed a link you guys don't know where it is because I'm still loading things up but anyway why was I saying that oh because uh, this that I make two journals at a time and because I'm kind of like I don't have the exact same thing double there's a subtle little changes in these two journals like for example this focal piece is different 
it's a different piece in each journal but they're equally gorgeous and then maybe the placement of the lace I know this little lace on the other journal that already shipped today is up here this one's getting ready to ship maybe tomorrow so there's just subtle little things on the journals but overall 98% they're exactly the same journal twice you know two journals and I did a little cluster here and guys, I'm just like really sorry. I get a lot of comments sometimes that I didn't even see your journal on Etsy. Didn't even even make it to Etsy. I'm sorry, but that's just. I wish I had more time to make more journals, but I don't. And they don't. Sometimes they don't because I'll post a few little sneak peeks, and people will, you know, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll contact me that they want it, they want it, and then you know, send me pictures. I want it, so I send them pictures, and and usually that's how they sell. I I, st they, I still go through Etsy because. For bookkeeping, for tax purposes, for everything I want. And I know Etsy takes a little chunk from me and I don't care. Um, actually, they take a lot, but I don't care. I'd rather do that and have all my sales in one place. And that way I do my print up for tax reasons and it's all there. So sometimes you'll see VIP listing for so-and-so. That's usually a journal. That's usually somebody that contacted me on Instagram and say I want it. So I don't have to do the whole listing and everything because we've already been talking on Instagram. So I just do a VIP, boom, it's her journal. So that's sometimes you'll see that VIP thing on my Etsy store. And that's what it is that it's, uh, somebody said they wanted it. So anyway, these are the little inserts that I mentioned that you can just take out and make the journal be smaller or you can take out and use wherever you like. Here, this beautiful, look how beautiful that is. It looks like a little renaissance thing going on. This beautiful digital is also from uh, Lydia at Raindrop Lila. I think I printed two little things from her Christmas 2021 and Christmas 2022 kit. I, and I don't remember which one's which, but I, I know this is from one of those two kids, and I love it. I think it's so pretty. And then in this little cluster we have, oh God, these, oh, and I'm so proud of my rusty staples, I mean, paper clip. We have a little journaling little area here. Music sheet. You can journal in the back. This. I think this might be the paper cameo chapter one. I don't remember. But look how pretty that whole muted, you know, black and white thing is. And this is from my latest favorite book ever because I love the texture of it. I don't want to say it's like a cotton rag. I don't know what it is, but I love it. So I added a little bit of my latest obsession, which is that paper. So that goes in there. Here we have a little, let me make sure I don't want to mess it up. We have a little bit, why is he stuck? There we go. Uh, another little tuck right here. And we have, look how pretty, here's a little bit of that pink I wanted to incorporate. And I did it. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? This absolute, I think this is also Lydia's. Um, I believe. Look how gorgeous that image is. That sketch, isn't that beautiful? And you can't really tell too much because it looks kind of gray here when I'm looking at it on the screen, but it's like the softest little green that goes with the cover. And then here I have another book page from my favorite uh, cookbook. And I think this is also Raindrop Lila, and this is part of, I think this is 2021. And it comes, it's really meant for like the other journals that we make, the shorter journals. But I cut it, I used this piece someplace else, and I love that lantern so much, and I love that whole scene. So I have to add that in there, and then this is another cookbook, and this little card. Isn't that pretty? You can journal in the back if you like. Here we have one of these little short pages. Look how cute. I love that. And then I busted on my dies because I'm like on this thing there where I want to use my dies. I think this might be, I think, I think this might be the Tim Holtz reindeer dies. So I printed them on book pages. I have like two of them going on somewhere and I layered it up with a little collage. A piece of lacy fabric and then the cute little reindeer that I distressed all around to make him pop. Uh, another little floating page, I mean another little page.
page. Look how pretty these are. Guys, you know you can journal everywhere. A little collage here. More little pages and things. More of that wallpaper. A pop of red. So it's got a little bit of red, green, it's got and pink. So it's kind of like traditional, but not that much. Look how pretty that is. Um, I don't want to say because I don't remember. Mm -hmm. And then here, what I did is that I went ahead and I created like a little folded tab with lace that goes all the way up and down like that. And I just folded it and glued it on. And then here I made one of these little pom-pom with all these beautiful laces from Nady. Most of these are from Nary, and I'm gonna list uh, her store underneath. She's got beautiful laces, and she sent me a whole bunch a while back, and I've been using them here and there. I have to have things out, or I don't use them. So I'm like, oh my God, I have all this beautiful nest from Nady. Let me start using them. So up here, I put a little piece of a vintage hanky that's mine, one of my rusted uh, pins, a little jingle, and this little piece is from one of Sheila's little trim. This is also from Sheila. See how when it folds back, how pretty. This is from Sheila. This is what I chose for my center, this one, because it's beautiful. It's got some of the green. I'm a color person. I also like design, but I like color has to speak to me. So it has a little bit of, you know, it has the red. I love this page and it just look how pretty that goes. I usually try to make my center match my cover, but that's just like a mental thing with me. I don't know. Uh, so here I made a little cluster that you can take apart and do whatever you like with it. So let's get started on the front of the cluster. First of all, there's a little envelope, which I love. Another little die. And then this little die is like a star. It's like a punch. I think this might be a Martha Stewart punch. And then there's a little, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little sequence, a little disc sequence back there that was very pretty, but I couldn't leave it alone. So I went ahead and put something on top of it, and I liked it. So I made a little, I fold, this is one of my little envelopes that I create, that I emboss just for extra texture. I did a little collage here and I put a little bit more of that pretty uh, veil fabric that I use in the front. And then in the little envelope here, I added a few goodies, like, you know, just a little journaling, something to journal on, a little ticket, a guest ticket. So that goes in there. And then I wanted, the way this was laying down like this, I think, I think like this, yeah. I wanted a little bit of red on this page right here. I really did want that. So I got it through this card. Look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? And I want to think this is like winter evergreen or something. And then here I put one of my little embossed envelopes with the paisley. I also have another little piece of paisley fabric in there somewhere that I'm just like in love with that little piece of fabric. I don't know why. So I did fold this little image. Look how pretty. You can see the paisley's there better. I fold it just a plain little paper. I fold it and then I put a little embellishment up here and then I filled up the little envelope with just all kinds of goodies. A vintage little tag. More book pages. This is also from uh, raindrop Lila. I think I don't know if this is from her Christmas 2021 or 2022, but I love that. I'm like in love with that image. Look how pretty that is. So I added that. This is a little, uh, like a little embossed little card. I just don't want to take it out. And this is another little, another little piece of paper. And then here I created like a big tag that I lined with book pages. And this pretty trim that brings in some of this green that you see here. I love this trim so much. And I got this from, I think, some chemistry book or something. But I like the graphics. Look how pretty this green is. This is the, remember I told you that the, the um, Raindrop Lila's image up front, it had like another page that was right next to it. It was this one. Look how beautiful that is, these Christmas trees. And it's the softest little green. You can tell it's coming out gray, but it's the softest little green. So I put that in the back 
with this little card. I just like doing all my layers. And then this pretty little image. I think this is also Lydia from Raindrop Lila. And then just a little clip with a little bow here. Uh, what else? More pages here. More of my sari. Uh, let's hurry right along. Oh, did you get stuck? It's stucky, it's stucky. All right. To unstuck you. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay. Look how pretty. And I love this um, trim. And this is just. Uh, okay, this one I'm gonna. Sometimes it gets stuck, you guys. You know how that. You know how that goes. There we go. Come on, baby. So here, all I did is like one of my doilies that I tea dye. I just kind of hugged it over like that so here is plain but you know you can journal everywhere here I added did a little collage and put some of my boho little touch and then here's another one of these inserts that you can just put in or out and I kept it together with a little rusted paper clip and just tied a little something you know I had to add a little she loves goodness. This is a postcard, a book, vintage book. I think this is vintage music sheet. And this is another digital. Look how pretty that is. And I think this is also Raindrop Lila. So that goes here. I keep going. Oh, this is the one I like. See, this is the little piece of paisley that I love. And I put it on here. So this is like another little layer. What I did here is that I kind of hugged this piece around with a little paper clip. So we have more goodness. Guys, I'm being lazy and I don't want to take apart. This is a uh, French. Look at this pretty digital. I think this is Anna's Wonderland. But I gotta show you this. This is so pretty. Uh, where did you go? I think you went... I forgot. But anyway, look how pretty this is. This is Anna's Wonderland. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to link her store too. And this is that pop of pink that I wanted to add. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so simple. Plenty of room to journal on. So, this is Anna's Wonderland. So that goes here. <clears throat> and then... This, I tuck this little card right here, and I don't want to say because I'm not sure. But like I said, I'm going to link everyone underneath. I made a little tuck spot right here, put a little bit of bling. I love that. And then another one of my reindeers here that I cut out of book pages, and I back them up with a little lace. And I have just a little bit of trim left. More of the um, wallpaper. And this opens up like that. I don't do a lot of flips in mine, but so that you know, it opens up like that. And then more trim. Look how pretty that looks. And then this is another little flip that you can do some secret journaling on. I love that image. And then this is the other. Glassine little bakery envelope back here, and I forgot what I put in here. So let's go look. Let's go look. Okay, guys, this is stuck. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so sorry, I unstuck it. Sometimes it gets stuck. Here we have, oh, this is another one from Anna's Wonderland. Look how pretty that looks. Again, that little bit of pink. Why not? Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. I think that was it. I really like that a lot. Okay, I'll put that back in later. And then back here, I did a little flip with some beautiful trim. Right in here. I think it's so pretty, and I love this trim. This came off a blouse, I think. Guys, by the way, a lot of the laces that you see... I don't really pay full price, so always be on the lookout for garments. You might see a garment for a couple of dollars that has lots of lace in the trim everywhere. Boom, right there. Just buy it, get it, take it apart, use it in your journals. Um, I mean, mind you, I do like going to the fabric store, and I wish I can get all the 
pretty laces I want but don't let that stop you from wanting to create and incorporating laces into your journals you can do that easily with fabrics tablecloth curtains very easily so always be on the lookout for that if you like to put laces in your journals sometimes some people don't and that's okay um, look how pretty that's also from from Sheila more your pages look how pretty that red and then this is another little one of these I always I have so much of this and I love it and I really add a little bit in every single one of my journals so it's kind of like my little signature lace little thing it's kind of like a flip but just like half a page of a flip I love that so much and of course you can layer this up you can put more things in there if you like but I try to add a little piece of that in every one of my journals here I have a little paper clip on this one and then this one what do I have here I have I love that isn't that pretty I believe this is Ida Jane I love the stockings up here and then what I have in here is just a whole bunch of little areas that you can use and then this little envelope goes like that that's how I had it this is from Anna's Wonderland to look how pretty the flap is on this isn't that gorgeous this little how she designed that I love that so what I did on mine you can easily if you don't have a sewing machine again don't let that bother you they even sell stamps that look like a zigzag so if you want to do that and it that's cheaper than getting a sewing machine you can use glue or don't use anything but if you want the stitching like the look of that stitching they have those little stamps that's one option so don't let not having a sewing machine prevent you from from sewing you can do it all kinds of different ways so here we have a little tag one of my little greek cards that i love so much and i also try to put one of these in every journal and just more little goodies and they all go inside the little envelope i love 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 the envelope and then we're almost at the end guys this pop of red the back of the um, wallpaper I love that that's all I had left and then the back of the journal and then the very back of the journal so like I said she is chunky I purposely didn't want to do any ruffles because I'm trying to challenge myself to you know different things so I didn't want any ruffles so see how everything is a straight line see no ruffles aren't you proud of me well yeah well that's a bow that's not a ruffle but you see how there's isn't one single well there is one ruffle but it wasn't I didn't make it it was already there made okay so I broke my rule so you know a little ruffle but there's no ruffles and I didn't want it I wanted to leave it okay what I'm trying to say this is my this is my version of simple of something a little bit more simple I hope I accomplished it it's not as my regular journals so I didn't do any ruffles and I minimized my lace and I think it still looks beautiful okay guys she's ready to ship I didn't even get to name her but she's ready to go I hope you're having fun creating things for Christmas that's what it's all about crafting 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 and not watching the news okay guys thank you God bless Merry Christmas bye bye